Our final speaker for the night is Wendy Joe from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. She's here to talk about nanobiosensors, a baby monitor for stem cells. Five of you will get a heart attack at some point in your lives. Ten of you will get diabetes. Almost half of you will be diagnosed with some form of cancer. What if I told you there were a cure for all of that? Let me introduce you to stem cells. The human body is made up of trillions of cells, all acting as building blocks to form everything from your skin to your hands to your heart. Each of these building block cells comes from the same source material we call stem cells. Stem cells are unspecialized cells that have the unique ability to become any other kind of cell. They can replace a patient's damaged or infected cells to treat any type of disease. What's the catch? Demand far outweighs supply. While many researchers are working on using stem cells, current techniques for obtaining them are invasive, expensive, and may yield only a very small number of cells. This limitation motivates efforts to growing cells in the lab more efficiently, which is the driving force behind my PhD project. Now, growing cells in the lab has its own challenge of getting the exact set of conditions for optimal growth. Think of stem cells as little baby cells that need to be constantly watched and taken care of. The solution? Super advanced baby monitors, <laughs> otherwise known as biosensors. These baby monitors let us know if the cells require more of one molecule or if they're secreting too much of another. In other words, if they're eating and pooping properly. I've developed nanobiosensors made of glass chips containing gold electrodes with nano-sized structures, seen in the top panel. This nanostructuring enhances certain chemical reactions that occur in the presence of specific biomolecules, which can then be represented as electrical signals. The more of a certain biomolecule there is, the higher the signal. Depending on if this biomolecule is considered food or poop, the sensor will then decide if the cells should be fed or if they need to have their metaphorical diapers changed. The result is happy, healthy, and abundant stem cells. These sensors are sensitive, reusable, and can be engineered to detect any number of different targets. In fact, their performance actually rivals that of the best devices that are commercially available. Plus, they're cheaper. So, to summarize, these powerful sensors may be used to monitor stem cells more effectively and thus tailor their growth more efficiently. With increasingly convenient methods for obtaining and using stem cells, we can treat patients with anything from heart disease to leukemia. It is really only a matter of time before medical theories become realities. Thank you. <laughs> 